Toe to toe, tail to tape. Big difference in a lot of these numbers. Jones up first. Darren Tank, excuse me, go ahead, Rob. Just hours ago, Tommy Jones honored and inducted into the PBA Hall of Fame, and now he's trying to win a title on the same weekend. That's how you start. Before I rudely stepped on you, Tommy Jones is starting the match on the left lane. Darren Tang had choice. He makes Tommy finish on the right lane. The pesky right lane. That's what I would have done. Perks of being a one seed. See Darren's numbers on television. This is fourth career singles TV appearance. Start, kid. That's how you start. Rob, I watched him in warm-ups, and his reaction looked really nice on the right lane. There's Coley Edison, the CEO, and on the left. Oh, welcome Tom Shannon, the CEO of Bolero Corp. We got the heavy hitters in the house we, in Arlington. Yeah, big nasty the, with a good seat right behind him. We got too. the big brass. You had uh, Love it. Barb and uh, Bill Chrisman just to the right of that. The owners of Storm. I saw him walking in. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big daddy. Yeah, he's Bill good. Christman. He's good, people. He is. Great start to our championship match. So you see the urethane on the right lane, which has been typical all day long. Reactive resin on the left lane. Darren Tang going with the same formula. So many heavy hitters and, and important folks at this event. Corey Dykstra from Brunswick. Uh, was at the uh, the Hall of Fame dinner last night as well. Um, but just uh, the who's who of the industry have made an, a, an appearance here uh, this week at some point. Chad Murphy, the USBC executive director there as well. Great event. I love how they actually start the season with an event like this, yeah. honoring everybody and looking yep. back and, and thanking those who have contributed to where we are right now and also looking yeah. forward to the future of this tour. It's, it's just great to, to see the, the representation by the companies. And, and there's it was, there's a couple of big hitters there. How about that? Probably the, biggest, in the house. biggest of all time, Walter Ray Williams Jr. sitting next to Mike Albee. I can't believe he's sitting next to that many lefties. <laughs> Albee, Scroggins, and Lichty. Back to back opening jabs for TJ. Tommy got a strike on the right lane. Hey -oh. You want to put me on the right lane? <laughs> put me on the right lane. Oh, damn. <laughs> there just three strikes in the last match for Tommy. He's already at two. What is he pointing out right there? Huh? I think that was Charles, our, cam our handheld cameraman. Saying that one's for you. If it wasn't, it should be. Yeah. Charles Montgomery. Yep. Emmy Award winning photographer on the PBA tour. I think he was also given a Peabody Award, if I'm not mistaken. He's curving it. Rob, he's curving it now. Watch out. He's curving it. This may come down to a carry contest because I think Darren Tang is going to hit the pocket. That, remember that second frame for Darren? He left that 10 pin, and that's really the only difference right now. But watch the curve. He's, he's going to curve it now. And, and it's all about getting his ball speed to stay soft enough. Darren Tang has no problem doing that. In fact, that's his bread and butter. He likes staying soft and, and just kind of being real relaxed and medium speed, medium rev rate, keeping everything in front of him. See him get his ball to read. See how it picks up. His feet's soft enough and his hands up the back. He can get that ball to read on that right lane. So watch this timing. Real early timing. Watch how quick he gets it into the swing. It's by his right leg in his first step. So he really has to wait on his swing on the way down from the top. Does a beautiful job of that. This young man can bowl. I've seen it, I've seen it time and time again. He doesn't look like a whole lot as you look at his arsenal pitch black on the right lane, physics on the left, but this young man can flat bowl. Strike, spare, 
strike for your one seed. And it's a double. Mom, Tracy, Dad, Thomas there. Yeah. There's, there's brother there's, Michael as well. Michael. Yeah. The Tang Gang, full DMC. Yeah, I love that. I saw that patch. <laughs> Darren, Mike, it stands for Darren, Michael, and Chris Vi. Chris Vi, another player out here on the tour. Two-handed specialist. We gotta come up with our own kind of logo thing. That's a good idea. Yeah, we should come up with something. Tommy Jones, just the fourth player to make a TV final on the same weekend. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Stay soft. Beautiful shot. Hambone! Yes, sir. Hambone, four bagger, four in a row, whatever you want to call it. That's beautiful. And that's Tommy Jones taking advantage. The new, newly inducted Hall of Famer just putting the touch on this shot on the right lane. He was 15th after qualifying round one. Only moved up one spot to 14th, then to 7th, and then to 2nd. What a week it has been. For Tommy, again, coming in here as the number two seed last night, inducted into the Hall of Fame, trying to become one of very few to have won 20 career PVA Tour titles. Only 12 yeah. have done it. That, that's a rarefied air as well. There, again, a, a look at the fam. Mom, Girl. daughter. Danielle, girlfriend on the right. That's a oh, yeah. Get in the pit! It's happening, man. It's happening. You feel it. Hall of Fame weekend, Rob. Yeah, it's just a bad day to be Darren Tang. Tommy Jones just absolutely gets filthy disgusting. I mean, this is nastier than a vulture's breath. Watch that messenger come across and just chop block to the town. We heard from him earlier in the show, I like those fiery guys, right? And there's that fire. That, that, that sounded like from, from something from the Pete Weber playbook. Hey, wow, Responds. Remember what I told you? Yeah, you said this guy is not afraid. He's not. This, this guy's got, he's got a lot of moxie. And he is not afraid to step up and throw it when he has to throw it. And that was uh, ep pretty evident by that last shot that he just threw after what Tommy, that explosion by Tommy Jones right in front of him. Looking for four in a row, had a pair of 300 games this week and dropped Tommy in match play. He's going to get Tommy Jones all he wants. Remember how subdued this building was oh, yeah. last match? Yeah. Script flipped. Look at those eyes, man. Mm. When he let go of it, oh, he's like he could stare a hole in the, in the floor of the lane. Five for five for Jones. Five for six for Darren Tang. Tommy Jones now stepping up on... The tricky right lane, which he has to finish this match on, this title match. The Hall of Famer trying to complete the trifecta for the weekend. Already two strikes on that right lane here in our championship match. Yeah. Yeah. Open that six pack. Tommy's thirsty for a title. Yeah, and he's got a taste for it right now. You can see the touch he put on that shot on that lane. He can really feel it. He's tasting victory. It's just a few frames away, and he's really starting to make quality shots, especially on the right lane. Watch this touch. Come on, one more. Seven. 
Hall of Fame performance by our newest Hall of Famer, Tommy Jones. I love how his upper body head drops down, doesn't come up and out of the shot at the point of release. That's been his signature trademark throughout his career. But by no means is Darren Tang on his back and on the mat. Down 30, but he's figured his game out very quickly. And that was an awesome jinx by me. Well, and that's the one he couldn't afford. He got it inside a target and it never picked up, never read the lane surface. And that's why it went light and didn't get to the pocket. There's that little strip that Chris Barnes created a couple of boards right of, of the last shot that Darren Tang threw in terms of location. He didn't get it far enough right and it went light. Being the top seed, far from a guarantee that you win the title. Last year, eight and 14 was the number one seed. And step ladder final, good clean up there from vitamin D. Vitamin D? Vitamin D. Yeah, he's got that all over his handle. I asked, I actually asked him about the vitamin D nickname. He says it's everywhere. And I, well, how did it come about? He goes, yeah, my buddies were messing around on my phone and they just made an Instagram handle for me <laughs> <laughs> and it stuck. You need a better passcode, Darren. Come on, man. So he's part of Run DMC, uh, Bowl DMC, and somebody hit me up on Twitter that said you and I should be Stone Eight. All right, nice shot there by Tank. Actually, it was uh, it was Tania Moore, BJ Moore's wife. Oh, really? Yeah. And we send our well wishes out to the Moore family and their their young family, and hope to see BJ on the telecast and Tini out with the kids. I think that, or is it just one? I can't remember. They, they, it happened so fast. I think they have two now. I'll hear about it either way. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Look, look I've got. They do have, no, they do have two. I've got four kids, and on my best day, I'm I'm lucky to remember how many I have. Um, I don't want to do this, Randy, but I'm, I'm going. Oh, no, you're not going there now. I am. I'm going to page 11 okay. of our tournament notes. All right. I'm thinking about it. I want to turn to page 11 for a reason. Get there. Yeah! yeah. The seat yeah. in the row. You know what's on page 11 of the tournament notes? I do. Yeah. All-time PBA 300 games on television. Yep. Right. yep. I'm there. I'm sitting there. I'm staring at page 11. What was the last one? I love page 11 because I want to be part of page 11. <laughs> 26 times it's happened. Last time in Vegas, 2016. Oh, my God. Francois Lavoie. Yep, against uh, the Candyman, Sean Maldonado. Won his first title on that show. Yep. 10K bonus if you are perfect. Knowing the kind of guy Tommy Jones is, if he does shoot Come on. 300, you'd probably give that 10K to Jason Belmonte. Keep in mind that he's coming off of a big win. Just about a month and a half ago, he won $100,000 at the last Bolero Elite Series of the year. He's got nine! Yeah. Yeah. Three more strikes from perfection. He's got nine, but that also locked up the win. 20 wins now for Tommy Jones. Just the 13th pro to hit that number. But the number we're staring at, the one under the word max, 300. Darren Tang, the number one seed, a wonderful performance here being completely overshadowed by what the Hall of Famer Tommy Jones is unleashing on us. Well, remember we talked about at the start of this match how Tommy Jones has to finish on the tough right lane. You've seen what it's done to Darren Tang. You saw what it did to Chris Barnes last game. So you would think that Tommy Jones getting up on the right lane and the odds of striking out would be. Might be a little slim. Packers Niners coming up later over on Fox. Darren Tang yeah, doing the honorable thing. Step up. Let's pick up the pace a little yeah. bit. 
bull. You've already hit it, hit it. Yeah, yeah. they both drop. Good. We already know Tommy Jones has won his 20th tour title. The story right now, while people are standing up, is because his pursuit of 300 is on. Yeah. Look at this late 7-10 drop. What was, the one, what was the one thing we did not have on television last year, our first year with Fox? What did we not have? 300 game. I thought you might say that. Oh, oh boy, Darren. All right. Way to finish, kid. You'll see more of Darren Tang, I promise you. He's got one more shot. In the meantime, get on the phone, get on your device, alert your friends. Right now. Get over to FS1 ASAP. We've got a potential 300 game brewing and in a title match to boot. performance yep. from Darren Tank. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it more in the coming weeks, but we're going to close the book on Darren right now. He would have won by 40 the right. last game. 40. All eyes on Tommy Jones, all hands on deck, and what a way to possibly kick off this new decade. We had four 300 games this week. All of them rolled by our finalists, including one from Tommy. He's got the bow deer, the perfect 10. Two more to go. Come on, Tommy, keep it together. Let's go, man. Let's go, Tommy. Keep it together, brother. Come on. This is where you just try to find your zen and get into that place where you, you think of nothing, you hear nothing, and it's just full autopilot. Six times on television has a 300 game been rolled. Tommy Jones, just hours after being inducted into the PBA Hall of Fame, has already won his 20th tour title. And now he's going to try to cap off the weekend with perfection. Can't script it any better than this, can you? He already knows that hardware is going home to South Carolina. One going. Malott. He had already hugged Chris Barnes. The last shot. Get low and get on up. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, you can't place it any better than that. It just splits the 8-9 in half. And what a performance. He beat his last game against Barnes by over 100. He had 190 in the semifinal. 300. How about Linda Jones's mom? Her first time watching her son on television, yeah, and, and he drops a 300. Tommy standing by with Kimberly.
Tommy Jones putting an exclamation on why you belonged in the Hall of Fame, getting a 300 the day after you inducted. How do you top this? I haven't the slightest idea. Right now, I'm like beyond nervous, uh, more nervous than I've ever been. But uh, wow, that was a lot of fun. Could you have written a better script than what happened here this weekend? Uh, no chance. Uh, my family's here. Um, Hall of Fame, bowl 300 for the title. You know, hats off to Darren. He bowled, he bowled a very good game also. He's, he's going to win many times. Um, you know, I, and now, uh, now when they do the pro-ams, I got 20 and Barnes has got 19, so let's go. Let's do this. Congratulations on kicking off 2020 with a win. My goodness, my goodness. That's how you start a season. There's Hall of Fame weekends, and then there's Tommy Jones's <laughs> Hall of Fame <laughs> yeah, weekend. Yeah, thank him for everything. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Next Sunday, Bye. we keep Genesis the ball rolling. Uh, we are live in Shawnee, Oklahoma, you. Sunday, 2 Eastern on FS1. It's also streaming on the Fox Sports app. Tommy Jones, your number two seed. Saturday night, he was inducted into the PBA Hall of Fame. Today, live on FS1, he becomes just the 27th pro to full perfection on television. Another tour title and a 300 game for Tommy Jones.